What up, peeps? I am super bored by this fucking weather. It drives me nuts. Boom boss, she was driving with the motorbike to work instead of taking the car. And she got wet, so I have to bring her some new clothes. And now I have to bring her this closest because she is totally wet. Poor girl. I don't understand why she didn't took the car. She know it is rain season. I don't know. Maybe she like to save some gasoline or whatsoever. I have really no idea how sometimes women tick. But well, that's the way it is. Bringing right now the closest to Bumbos um, gives me the opportunity to tell you how bored I am. I think I mentioned it before on the door. It really is a pain in the butt. So much rain. There is nothing I can do. I would love to go out and I would love to show you something, some funny stuff, some things you can do in Thailand. And somebody is taking my parking place in front of me right now and there's also nothing I can do. He was just faster. What a bummer! Oh my God! At this very moment, right now, look at this guy. Yeah. This is the place where I park every day and now... Fuck it hell. Unbelievable. So I have to make a round again to find another parking spot. Jeez. Mm. The good thing today is I can show you Rung. Rung is back. And I'm really happy to see her. She was here yesterday already. But the video footage I made in the night was not really, really good. So I went the cup. I said Sawati cup and I don't even get a Sawati cup back. Neither from my wife, not from the staff. Hi, not... clean your ear. Oh, I can prove it nobody did. Oh. Anyway, look at here. Sabadi, everybody on Facebook said, oh, welcome back room, welcome back room. Thank you so much. So cool you have to have you back. Thank you. So, I really don't know what to do right now. I think I will cook for myself something really special. Sabadi Cup. Something special. Maybe tonight I'm going to make, just for myself, goulash, Hungarian goulash with semmelknödel and yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You can watch this if you want. If not, turn your station off, change the channel right now, because this is really what I'm going to do right now, all right? The first step you have to do, if you want to make a really, really, really yummy and a really good um, Hungarian goulash, you buy pork filet. I cut it already in slices, and I'm going to cut this right now into cubes. But what you do if you cut them in slices, you just put them into a nice bowl. And the first you do after that, before you put any any spices on it, you crack yourself a beer. Ah, because that brings you in a better mood to cook. No, I'm just kidding. What you do, you pour a little bit beer over that. Not too much, okay? Don't be too generous about that. Really just a little bit. Right after that, you're going to pour some salt on it. And some pepper. And some paprika. Then you mix that. Up 
after everything is done, you need a little girl who cut onions for you because I start crying. Make it choppy, okay? Can you do it here? Thank you. The next ingredient is a paprika and a simple tomato. Olive oil. The oil is hot and right now I put my meat into the pan. Now the meat is in the pan. I make it very hot at the beginning because I want the meat to get sealed and I want it to have it crunchy. So it has to become a very nice brown color, really crunchy color. And then, next step. I hope your first beer is already done. Drink it already, okay? Because the next step you do, and this is very, very important, is you crack yourself a beer, you open it, and you drink it. Okay, because at least that's what I do. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so next step, you put your bottle of beer beside, put your onions and the red large chili inside. Time for your puree. Guys, as a restaurant owner, I have already my garlic. This is absolutely fresh garlic, just made today. Um, very small, very fine. You put this inside, not too much. Something like that, okay? So you have all to do, you have to cut this by yourself, but I have myself to do this every day. Uh, you need to have a little bit garlic inside. I do always a little bit more because I will cook it a long, long time to make it really, really yummy. Paprika. And again, some beer. Not too much, because you want to drink some, right? So once your beer is almost done, like this, just a little bit left, you put some parsley, fresh parsley, into your mixture, okay? You mix that one, okay? So, at this moment, it should look like this. All right, your next step is just pour some water on it, a lot. And go down with the heat. Wrap yourself some tissue paper and do this because it is fucking hot in the kitchen. Throw this shit away. So guys, I changed the stove 
because this one is better controllable for the heat. So I need a really low heat right now and I need to pour some more water. Check this out. There is a reason for that. There's a lot of salt, there's a lot of beer, there's a lot of seasoning inside. And right now I want this little fucker here to cook for three to three and a half hours on a very, very low flame, okay? And when this is done, we see you guys again. So, my dear subscribers, now, after three and a half hours of cooking my super nice goulash, it looks like this. The meat is super tender, and now you need one more thing, just one little thing to add and then it is perfect. This is what you need to have, cream, fresh cream. And this is what I put in my goulash at the end. Not too much, but this gives, us, gives the goulash a very creamy, nice flavor. And trust me, this is just awesome. So right now I have no time to show you how to make some knödel, German style, but that will be my next challenge. I will show you how to make German style knödel. And people, trust me, you're gonna love this one, but I'm in the way right now, boom, and she's getting pissed at me because this is her, her space right now and she's gonna probably kick me out of the, of the kitchen very soon. I just show you quickly how it looks when it's finished. So when it's done, it should look like this. This is Krillbill Hungarian goulash. My style and the people love it. I will eat this right now myself, not all of it of course, but I will eat it right now myself with some noodle. I just cooked myself some noodle and take this one home. All right, this is my midnight dinner. Like most likely every day I do eat before midnight. It is not good for my one pack, but well, that's the way it is. And the next time, like I said, I promise you, I show you some more about how we do our food. Maybe open a second channel, I am not sure yet. But that's all I can say for the moment. I hope you were entertained. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, stay sexy. Don't leave us. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.